Welcome back, Achievers, to your Easy Achievers Game Podcast for the week of October 21st, 2021. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting across from me virtually, of course, is this Rockstar Can. Hello, Rockstar Can. I am Spartan117. Okay, so you're a monster Rockstar Can version of Master Chief. Yes. Right. Uh, for audio listeners, um, our one true co-host, Alex, is holding up hey. a Rockstar can. Not empty, it, presumably. Don't know if there's any liquid still left in it. Nope, it's oh, sealed. sealed. I, am not o- I am not opening it. Not opening it. He's keeping it for posterity's sake. Yep. And there's a Master Chief on it. Now, we, have, we are trying to collect all of these. Yes. There's five total. Yes. He has one. So, so one down. Yep. yep, one down, four to go. Four to go. If you don't know what we are, we're a rock star enthusiast podcast. No, Gotta no, be. no. We're the Easy Achievers Game Podcast. It's going to be every single Friday where we talk about all the news that's happened over the week, break everything down, and have a fun laugh while, on the way. Now, you might be asking, well, gee, Willikers, I love this show. How can I support it? <laughs> Thanks for asking. Now, you can do that a multitude of ways. Let's start with the free stuff. You can, of course, like or comment or subscribe to this video, and you help the algorithm. Or if you're on a podcast service of your choice, you can, in theory, go over to the review section and leave a five star review. That also helps us with that algorithm. Now let's get to the paid options. Now, if you want to fork over some dough to your favorite easy achievers, well, patreon.com slash easy achievers is where you want to go. You can give us a buck, a two buck, or a five buck. And that's going to give you a bunch of different tiers, a bunch of different access to the show. You can DM us, you can get involved with the show with a question, a comment, concern, or thought. <gasps> and or idea. Alex. Mm. We have some news. A lot of Xbox news. A lot of last minute news that I have not been able to fully divulge into. Before we get into any of that, though, I'd like to ask you one singular question every single week. And this week is no mm. different. What have you been playing? Mm. More tales. More tales. I'm trying to I'm trying to get up there because I want to keep playing. I want to see if I can finish it. Now you've been doing the... a lot of tales, but have you arised yet? No, not mm. arise yet. I haven't hit that arise point yet, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but I'm trying to do all that before all these new games come out like Forza and Halo and right. stuff like that. So been playing that and then I did start Far Cry six. Started Far Cry six? I did as well. Yeah. So far. You're a little earlier in the game, but what do you think? So far, I like it. I'm I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, the gunplay is fun. I mean, as always, it's Far Cry. Um, the only I, thing I is, think that's I, a sufficient I, thing for this. It is Far yeah, Cry Six. I wasn't expecting how big the map was. That is actually pretty cool. Very large map. Yes, and but I've been anyways. spoiled with your TV because you have recently upgraded your TV. Last week I did say we were able to get an OLED. Now, you might be looking behind me and going, what is that giant black square behind you? Well, that is my old TV. Um, I didn't have anywhere to put it, so I just put it in here until I can get a kind of situation to put it there. But until mm. then, say it's hello to there. the TV. This the is gym. the old one. Yes. It's not dead to me. No, because I have the not. new one. It's still good. It's still a good TV. No, it's still it's still a good TV. It's still a great TV, anyways. But mm-hmm. yeah, I got the LG OLED C1. Fantastic. So it's, it's, Fantastic. TV. It's so nice. Got the Amazon sale. Mm-hmm. Don't know if it's still going. Um, up to you, achievers, if you want to go look at that. It is. It is. It is still going, achievers. Um, I was able to get a very good payment plan. That's the only reason mm-hmm. I did it through Amazon themselves. I didn't even know they did that. But it's very very fun. Um, that's we sidetracked. Um. Far Cry 6, fantastic yes. so far. Um, yep. Achievers, I want to ask you a question. Have you played a Far Cry before? You've played this game then. This is the exact same thing. Exact same thing. Not a single mm-hmm. difference so far. But um, not necessarily a bad thing. As long as you know what you're getting far, into. Quick Far Cry fact that I did not know, and you might have known. The um, protagonist in the first game, that, that's the one who play, you play as, right? The, the good yes. guy is the protagonist? Okay. Is the antagonist in the second one? So I the first Far Cry, you play as... The first as... Far Cry, you know, the, the, the guy yeah. that you play as, the one that's in the cover. Mm-hmm. That guy is the villain for Far Cry 2. Oh. That's I did not know that. fun fact for all of you. No one's played that out one or recently. two. No one played... It's like Witcher 1 and 2. No one's played them. 2, I started, and it was fine until I and my save literally got erased, and I was like, nope. 
I've played Far Cry two until I realized one, my guns jam and I have to like take care of them. And then two, malaria? I have malaria. And I went, mm. no thanks. <laughs> no thanks with all of this. This seems awful. But yeah, sure. uh yeah, I achievers, we've talked to I think on honestly at nauseum, so I don't really want to talk about it anymore because I don't think there's anything mm. interesting about it, but uh, Far Cry's Far Cry. I'm much further than Alex. Yes. Uh, I'm enjoying my time. I am having a good time if you're looking for a Far Cry game or if you've never mm-hmm. played one before. I do think you will enjoy this game if you love those Ubisoft checkmark games. Uh, we have mm-hmm. a lot more to talk about Ubisoft later on. But first, Alex, we don't have a Rumor Roundup, but I want oh, to no. replace Rumor Roundup with okay. a quickie. Now, you might be asking yourself, Alex, what's Ooh, a quickie? Oh. These are a couple stories that either A, I didn't have enough time to touch on, B, are going live as of recording, so I can't really open them, or I don't really want to have a whole news spot in the show, so I just wanted to bring to Alex and see, hey, have you seen this kind of thing? So let's start with okay. quickie number one. IGN was able to interview an ex-dev from Bioware, a Montreal animation director, Dave Wilkinson. Now, this is, of course, over on IGN. This is a great, great look at the Mass Effect ending. I am not going to spoil everything. However, Alex, Mm. I do want to very specifically talk about this ending. Now, this is a ending that he thought of that is kind of the same as the Mass Effect 3 ending. Now, if you've never played Mass Effect 3, uh, the wonderful co-host that Alex is, he takes time codes. So if you look in the description of whatever service you're on right now, it will give you time codes. So just look there if you want to skip ahead from this part to the next section or skip about three minutes and, and we'll be good. You'll most likely be fine. But let's read this really quick. So this is <laughs> so this is his original plans for the endings. Well, at, the, at that point, Shepard was so augmented with like electric bits and all the rest of the sh- shit. Uh, I actually had him just plug himself into the Citadel and then within a virtual world, he has a conversation with what was described as a god of the Reapers. I think it was a queen, question mark, at the end. Like, like it's an actual question mark. Um, he has this conversation, and, the, and the, basically the queen says, uh, the way the Reapers keep going, this isn't sustainable, blah, blah, blah. We have to, by the way, literally written out, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> we have to evolve, but we're incapable of evolution because of the limitations of our AI and stuff like that. She was their queen, but she proposed things the Reaper didn't like, so they basically just locked her away inside the Citadel and just never, ever listened to her ever again. <laughs> so like a child. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, and then this is the chance to evolve and move everything, yada, yada, yada. Uh, and if you go with the re- re- renegade option of the three options you're given, uh, Shepard just goes, fuck this, and blows everything up, which blows up not only the Citadel, Earth, but also kills all the Reapers. And it gives um, organics like a chance to kill the rest of the Reapers because like a large majority of them are gone. The mm. Paragon option is a little nicer. You, uh, Sh- uh, Shepard turns into Big King Reaper. The Paragon <laughs> option is like, I'm awesome that I can control Reapers <laughs> and I'll use them for the right reason. So he turns into kind of like the Big King Reaper. <laughs> you still said fuck you to the Queen, but you did it because you became the Reaper and you could lead the Reapers to the power of good or wherever the fuck that meant. I fucking love this guy. It's, it's hilarious. The final <laughs> option is Synthesis. This was available to everyone and it has an ending that is similar to what is seen in the final scenes with Stargazer. If you don't know what Stargazer is, that is the end with the old man talking to the child. They call him Stargazer. Um, and then at the ending that everyone could get with uh, Synthesis, we're, uh, we're go- <laughs> the, the, king of, the Queen of Reapers said, we're going to use space magic and we're going to combine the best parts of you and the best parts of me and we're going to send it out through the universe and it's going to change everything. Everyone's going to get affected by this and everything's going to change. There was an ending where there was a mom and a daughter and I had them sitting on a hill and I shot it, it with drifting through the stars. The stars got blurry. It refocused on them. And it and the mom was basically describing to the daughter that uh, this how Shepard changed everything with the Reapers and made everything better. Uh, it looked like they were Asaris, but they were Asaris, but they're a little bit different and yada, yada, yada. So this was um, one of the endings, basically. And it is, honestly, Alex, if you kind of squint, it is almost the exact same thing we did get. Um, minus, uh, like, small child that talks to us that is, mm-hmm. like, the Citadel gun or whatever you want to call that. The Reaper Queen. 
Yeah, no Reaper Queen with the ending we got, but it is if you, you sure? again if you squint, it's kind of the same thing. Um, kinda, but they don't blow up Earth. But I'll be honest, like, when I read this, I was like, this is kind of a fun ending. Although, um, and uh, he goes on to say like one of the reasons is, uh, uh, you know, that ending could be very expensive. So they might have yep. the reason they probably went with the other one is like, oh, you just kind of you know look at the light and it changes, you <laughs> know. Yeah. versus having to put all that other stuff into it. I wanted to bring that up, Achievers, for, as a quickie. Uh, not only is he hilarious <laughs> with describing this ending that almost happened, uh, but it is a fun what if. What if we got that ending? What if? Uh, it would have been weird. It would have been weird. I, I, I think it's easy to say, like, oh, that ending's much better. But then you have to think, like, do you really want a Reaper Queen Citadel thing? I don't know. I'm. I don't know. I. I it's, just. It's, the Reaper Queen is Leviathan's wife. <laughs> yes. Uh, for the achievers, I l- literally just read this five minutes ago, and I wanted to bring it to you guys' attention. So, just to be uh, straightforward with y'all. So, we have another one, and this is gonna be a quick. I won't read the article here. I want you guys to go read this. Uh, Square Enix reveals its canceled survival horror Tomb Raider game. This looks crazy. Uh, you can go over to IGN for this by Jared Moore. Um, it's, uh, it's a 25th anniversary special, and they basically showed off the canceled survival horror game called Tomb Raider Ascension. There's a bunch of clips you can go look at and things like that, but it is wild to see the Tomb Raider with a pickaxe, climbing axe thing, beating off what looks like the zombies from Dead Space. Really? Yes, it's wild. It is a wild, and it's a clip, and it's literally her fighting off this kind of zombie. You know, you know, it's all pre-pro, like you, n- nothing's around her. It's just you know pre-game dev stuff, probably in their pitch deck that they're showing them or something. But uh, yeah, it's a canceled survival horror game. I would love to see a Tomb Raider survival horror game. That sounds awesome. Don't know if we'll ever get that, but huh. um, okay. apparently the concept did evolve into like a part of her story in the reboot or whatever. But again. Go read if you want to know more. And then this is another quickie because uh, I don't want to bore people with Destiny stuff, but I, this is kind of a quickie and a PSA. Um, but Destiny's Witch Queen's uh, new dungeons, so the two dungeons we're going to get as part of Witch Queen, will not be included in either the Standard Edition or a Season Pass. So, <sighs> Destiny oh, sells you multiple different things. If you buy Witch Queen, which is their next expansion, you will not get the dungeon in either the one coming out in December, which is Bungie's kind of 30th anniversary dungeon, or an unannounced dungeon that's coming out some point in the future. You cannot buy Seasons Pass to get either of those options. You have to purchase either the standalone Bungie add-on, that's like 30 bucks, I think, and you get the Bungie 25th anniversary whatever, or you go and buy the Witch Queen Deluxe Edition and get everything. Just as a PSA, and also a bunch of people were upset, and I wanted to bring it up. Everyone's mad because you've never had to pay for dungeons before. They just added it to the game. Now they're putting it behind pay- paywalls. Did that bother you since you're such a big Destiny fan? <sighs> dungeons are pretty big. So, I- I'll be honest, I don't, I'm not, I don't look at this and go, I can't. I can't imagine why they would make you pay for that. Like, yeah, it, is it confusing? Yes. I think it's a little too confusing. I think it should probably, one of the dungeons should probably be included in Witch Queen, maybe just to help with like simplicity's sake. Okay. Um, and also they did say they, because th- think of it this way. Let's say you are jumping back in as a laps fan and you buy Witch Queen standard edition, 60 bucks, I think. Yep. I don't know. I think it's 60 bucks. Alex, can you look that up for me? I'm sorry. Yes, I can. Thank you. Let's say you buy the standard edition. You like it, you play it, and you hear there's a new dungeon. You come back, let's say two months later, and there's a new dungeon. All right, let me go play the new dungeon. You go, and you're like, oh, I have to buy this thing. So now you either have to buy the deluxe edition, or you have to... They said there's going to be standalone ways to buying the dungeon, but like, you know... I love Bungie, but like they've said stuff like that a lot. They've said, you know, they've promised things before and haven't delivered. So, are they going to have that ready when it launches so it's less confusing to people? Who knows? The standard is 40. 40. The deluxe, the deluxe is 80. Yeah. 
And Oof, then the that's a big jump, Jesus. And then the deluxe thirtieth anniversary bundle it's is one hundred. One hundred. Oh, I thought it was more than that. Is it yeah, so the, it's the, the deluxe comes with all the season yeah. passes, so that's basically a year of Destiny content. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's also a collector's edition, which is two fifty. Yeah, that comes with like a ghost or something. I don't remember, but PSA oh, yeah, for everyone. Like the, the, I the, personally yeah. am not bothered by it, but I do feel bad because I do have a bunch of. We have a you know Destiny clan, Alex and mm-hmm. I. We have some friends on there, yep. and there are some people that you know are a little more casual. So I would hate for them to be in a situation where they not only buy Witch Queen, but then have to spend like twenty bucks on a on a dungeon later on where they could have just bought the deluxe and got all the season passes along with the dungeon content too. So like you're gonna end up spending mm-hmm. more money later. That's like the scenario where I'm like, that sounds annoying and mm-hmm. needlessly complicated where you could just include the dungeon in like, I don't know, like some sort of season pass bundle maybe. It's, I don't know. Moving on. That's enough of the quickies. All right, we're going to actually get into the news. Are you ready for that, Alex? Yes. I'm so glad you're ready for it. Now, this is a heavy Xbox episode. Heavy Xbox episode, but we're going to lighten it up a little bit with some Splinter Cell, Ubisoft, PlayStation talk. So let's just get ready. Everyone get ready. So let's start with, let's start with, let's start with Ubisoft. Let's Splinter Cell. Are both celebrated, but maybe concerning news came out this week in the form of Splinter Cell possibly coming back. Of course, no names, no specifics, or anything was really given, but multiple outsources are, uh, outlets are saying that their sources are telling them a Splinter Cell game is in early development and could even possibly be announced as early as next year. Um, although it is outside of the normal Montreal-based studio that it, it's going accustomed to being released from, it looks like Splinter Cell is, in fact, coming back. It does seem substantiated enough to be pretty certain that it is coming now. Achievers, you might be asking yourself, haven't you been asking for this this whole time? Why is it concerning at all? Well, I find Ubisoft in a very concerning spot right now. And I ask you, Alex, this question. Do we want a Splinter Cell game from the Ubisoft we have right now? I only say that because... Think about it. Ghost Recon was just announced. Two of them, for some reason. I don't even remember the other one. Two two side games. Frontlines and the other one, which... I look for it. Is now just called Ghost Recon, the other one. Then we got uh, X Defiant coming, which looks like the definition of generic. Like if you have ge- generic mm-hmm. and you need a definition for that, you would put X Defiant. Which, again, what the fuck's up with that name? Really? For real? What's up with that name? I will not talk any S about Knockout City because I've heard that's good. Mm. That's actually a plus for them. But. Let's not forget, what's that game called, Alex? The other Battle Royale game they made? Uh, Hyperscape? Yes, thank you. It's like Brink. I was going to say, like, it's like Brink. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, Hyperscape. Let's not forget about that. No one liked that. Um, it was fun. Assassins. I-, I love Assassins. Assassins is a plus. I yeah, have no, not had sure. any qualms with Assassins, but my point is, in... Um, Someone else actually brought up this point. Um, uh, Alana Pierce actually brings this point up. Uh, I saw on Twitter that the Ubisoft we have right now, do we really want them making a Splinter Cell game? Because we might get a open world, no stealth, or maybe optional stealth thing. Basically what they turned Assassin's Creed into. Where stealth is like kind of like in the background. Or like, yeah, you can be stealthy, but like, it's not like really efficient. You could just run in and kill everyone. So, <laughs> Alex, I want to ask you that question. Does a Splinter Cell coming out in, in the next few years still get you excited? Yes, I just hope that it doesn't become too much of a Ubisoft checklist game. Yeah. I mean, yeah. No, There's no the, other way to we, put that. We really. thought there was two Ghost Recon games. One of them is The Frontlines. Was the other one a Division type game? It was Division, not Ghost Recon, wasn't oh, it? Oh, is that what we got confused with? Yeah, there's a yeah, Division div- Heartland. That's what it that's, is. That's what it is. That. <laughs> because that even. Division Heartland and Ghost Recon Frontlines. Yes. That's the two games that that's they right. just recently came out with. 
Well, like why? What's, right? what's what's the what's the point of those? They only just save your resources and do something with some, for something else. I don't know. It, it's just it seems like they're just kind of throwing stuff at the wall and just sees what fix. That I mean, that's really what it seems like. It looks like they're like, all right, Division Heartlands. Let's see if they like that. Okay, they didn't. Um, Assassin's Creed, uh, Valhalla. Okay, they like that one. Okay. Um, let's see, X Defiant. <laughs> like, oh no, they didn't like that. Knockout City. Okay, they liked that one. Hyperscape? No, they didn't like that. Okay, like it really just seemed like, yeah, it's like a like roulette in the last wheel. Two years, there's and been they just like turn it. So many games. Like they roulette wheel and turn it, and it says battle royale, and it's like, all right, turn it again. All right, it landed on Ghost Recon. What what should we name it? What's the most generic thing off the top of your head? Frontline. Got it. Ghost Recon Frontline. I don't know. I mean, the amount of Ubisoft games in the year 2020. And then not even 2021, like... Yeah, oh yeah, they they unleashed the Hedrons and really let everything just come out. They, I mean, I don't know. Wait, we're, we, we were so hyped on Ubisoft a few, only a few years ago, right? They almost got taken over by Vivendi, and they didn't. Mm-hmm. They, they were able to get out of that. Vivendi completely gave up. They almost got a, a hostily taken over by them. And that mm-hmm. ended up not happening, which is good for them. Um, and not only have they all these releases happening, they have multitude of sexual misconduct at the uh, uh, studio. Allegedly, I think I, I, I think a lot of it is confirmed, though. Uh, a lot of people have stepped down. Uh, Yves Gilman has not said anything about anything he's done, but everyone around him apparently has done messed up stuff. It's a lot. And again, only a few years ago, Ubisoft was like was posed to be like one of my favorite of the like. Big three, you know, Square, uh-uh. uh, UB, and usually that's the one that you were excited for to see yeah. at, a, at a, like a meeting or whatever. And you and, and back then we did really think Splinter Cell was coming back. Mm-hmm. Now we're like broken to the point where like we're never seeing that game again. And and even with these rumors, like yeah, um, I agree. I p- can believe there's an early development Splinter Cell, so that means we'll probably get it 2025. So in four years, we'll probably get a Splinter Cell game. I could see it then, yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? So like, eh. I'll forget about it by then. Yeah, probably. Uh, this is kind of a quick one, Alex. Um, Square Enix London Mobile has been formed. A new studio has been formed from Square Enix to make mobile games. And the first few may surprise you. Let's start with a direct quote uh, from their website. As a new team formed at Square Enix's London HQ, we're going to be finding top independent development studios around the world to partner with in creating high-quality, free-to-play mobile games. We couldn't be happier with the first two projects we're working on, Tomb Raider Reloaded, coming in 2022, and a new game set in the universe of Avatar The Last Airbender. Both games are in development, and we're looking forward to sharing more details soon. This is from Ed Perkins, director of Mobile Publishing. So, we have a new Square Enix game focusing on mobile games. Um, boo! I don't really care. Uh, the Kingdom Hearts one did really well for the people who played it. Yep, people Cross love X. that. Game. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, Cross, Union, yeah. Union Cross. Yeah, I don't remember the studio behind that, but uh, yeah, no, I'm interested to see uh, if this ever comes thing. I mean, I loved Tomb Raider Go, but that mm-hmm. was the only kind of mobile esque game I liked, and I didn't play it on mobile. I played it on Vita because uh, I'm a man of culture. I mean, the publisher and developer were both square. That's what it says. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know like what team worked on it in Square. Oh, okay. I got, you, I got. That's you, what you. I meant. But um, here's another uh, quick one we can really uh, scoop by. PlayStation Five has finally broken Nintendo Switch's 33 month run of selling the most console units in the U.S. monthly hardware charts. This is, of course, from the NPD. I thought this was just a fun thing. Like something has finally overtaken Switch's sales. Over 33 months. So they almost made it to three straight years of being the most sold system Mm -hmm. in terms of both units and, I believe, sales. I think. I don't remember. But in terms of units, of course. Wild. It's great. Switch is doing great. And PS5, good job. This is another uh, quick thing that we're going to start our Xbox talk with. Because, again, this whole show basically... Until now, until the end, until we get to date updates, is going to be Xbox. Xbox. Halo did announce that they will not have ray tracing at launch, but it is a top priority for 343 to get it on both PC and consoles. And then we also saw them announce a collab with Halo and AMD with a graphics card. Alex, that was the Radeon 
It was the Radeon 6900, I think. Let me see. Thank you. Let me make sure. Um, I meant to write it down, and I must have forgot. And while you do that... Uh, so Phil went on to the Wall Street Journal and gave quite yep. an interview. We have so many things to cover, and we're going to start with... Um, 6900 XT. Thank you. That's what I thought it was. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, and he went on to go about oh, the hot topic, Game Studios. So let's go in it. We keep hearing this from Phil, but he does want to make it extra clear they are not done acquiring. So this is, of course, via that Wall Street Journal I just gave. Quote, so we're always looking for people who we think would be a good match, and these teams would be a good match with our strategy. And we're definitely not done. And he goes on further. There's no quota. There's no kind of timeline where I have to go acquire studios by a certain time. But if we find a studio where we have a good fit, we share what we're trying to go do and what we're trying to go do. And if we feel we can both get better together, absolutely. Alex, mm. this is reconfirmation that he is still looking at acquiring something. Oh, yeah. And we knew that, but that's the hot topic to ask people. Like, hey, what, what's your, what are you buying next? Mm -hmm. And I, we still really don't know. Um, I haven't heard any rumblings at all of any talks and them making a big purchase. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know, but I do think something is coming soon. I wouldn't sure. be sh mm, Actually, we're pretty close to the end of the year. Don't yeah, know but they, ju they did just announce uh, that there's going to be a 20th anniversary event in November. They did. I did. I did have that thing. Um, it was... I have it written down... Segway, segway. Segway to the events. I don't have it ready. November 15th. Uh, we invite you to join us. This is from the Xbox blog. We invite you to join us on November 15th to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Xbox and Halo with a fun digital progress for, uh, prod broadcast for fans around the globe. While we won't announce any new games, this anniversary broadcast will be a special look back at 20 years of Xbox. We'll share more details soon, so stay tuned. So nothing crazy, no new games, but I do think it will be fun ecosystem things. Like, oh yeah, it's you know it's it's celebrating Xbox. Yeah, it will probably be that. like, here's a couple more backwards compatible games that we're excited to show you. Here's mm -hmm. a new FPS boost titles. We haven't seen those in a while. Um, we had yeah, that like big FPS boost, yeah yeah we have that we had that big launch when they first mm -hmm. announced it, and we haven't really seen too much since then. So I wouldn't be yeah. shocked if they have a couple more to kind of show off. Like, hey, look, we got we got more for you. Um, aside from that, Alex, I can't really think. I mean, we already have the controller. They did um, they did release the fridges earlier this week, which is a mm -hmm. really hilarious thing to say. Um, they did the Halo Edition system, so we're not getting a special Xbox Edition. I really don't think so. Um, no, I don't think we're getting anything because they they did the controller and the headset the same day. It was a 20th anniversary headset and controller, but that was it. Yeah, and and I don't know if you have anything, but I can't really. Uh, it really might just be a f from broadcast. Like, I think it's just going to be a couple, maybe back of packs that they're adding. A, yeah, I think it's just a celebration thing. It's like, oh, yeah. let's look at back at Halo. Let's look at back at the titles that made us who we are. Yeah, it might be our final big look at Halo before it comes out, maybe. Because mm -hmm. that's November fifteenth. We have what three weeks and then it comes out so that might be like one more like hurrah like all right let's really like dive deep into the game and show you everything because they yeah. have shown off the competitive they showed off how it's going to work on pc now uh now mm -hmm. we have pc details. do you think we'll have one more flight i do think we'll have one more flight okay two maybe one for sure i think we're gonna have one more flight i feel like you you have to tell everyone that this is the last flight because then they're just going to be waiting for the next one. Mm -hmm. So I really think I th we're having one more, and then they they'll tell us if it's the last one or not. If they do one more flight, I feel like they'll have to add like a um, an infection mode or whatever just to show off that. Because a lot of people really always enjoy like infection and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I honestly, I think if they do it again, it would be a no holds bar. Like these are all of our modes are active. Like play what you want, you know. And yeah, I think it's going to be open. I think something. I think the next flight's going to be open because this one was basically open. All you had to do was get Halo Waypoint and make an account. No, for sure, yeah. I think I think that was it. Like that was yeah. basically it. So it was super easy this time. I think next time it's literally gonna be like it's open. All you have to do is go into the Insider Hub and sign up or something. I don't know. It might even be on the Xbox Store as a demo. Yeah. The only thing I just don't agree with the whole ray tracing thing, but whatever. You hate that it's a. Uh, why are they? Oh no! Why are they worrying about it? 
give me co-op campaign rather than ray tracing <laughs> like oh my god uh, yeah yeah that's said, definitely they say, they say that that's their top priority why yeah that is a good point they do say that the game, it, they do the game say looks quote good. Top why is, why is ray tracing the top priority why not give people co-op campaign or forge something that halo's known for mm -hmm. they did say but no it's you wanted to graphic. <laughs> just, they did say just to be fair i'm playing devil's advocate here they did say <laughs> it's coming in the new the next season but that is in like three months probably yeah the the, the seasons are last between six, three to six months yeah. it's them yeah that's a lot i i i feel the struggle with you i again when i ah. i didn't think about it that way but yeah he's seeing top priority and then seeing co-op campaign is like in three seasons or sorry not three seasons sorry in three months probably that you know i feel the frustration as well yeah we are quite done with this interview they let her uh, touch on vr or the lack thereof on the xbox ecosystem when asked if they will ever bring something like vr to xbox phil goes on to say quote I think that when we think about immersion, we think about mixed reality. Virtual reality, I'll even take it to I, <laughs> the metaverse is what he says, which seems to be the buzzword of the day now. Really quick, Alex. Go ahead. Go ahead. Facebook is also saying something about metaverse. I did. I saw that. I, I, <laughs> why are they using this word? Why? Let's, let's ignore the no, never mind. obvious Facebook weird criminal things that's happening right now and just say like facebook is talking about like this metaverse thing rebranding they said they're completely changing the name yeah very convenient after that what if giant Phil leak. is buying facebook no nope no no one wants facebook not not what's going on right now if you know what's going on right now mm -hmm. they might be fucked that's probably why they're changing mm -hmm. their name who knows maybe anyways okay. um yeah everyone's talking about this metaverse thing please for the love of god just don't i don't want that it sounds like a mix of like vr ar stuff with people no 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 i don't know we man. already have like vr I... chat i don't want i don't even want that that seems weird i can yeah. just be like a little anime lady as much talking. as i enjoy vr i feel like vr is just a thing of the past now which is crazy to say because we never dove and dived into it so much but i feel like it's just like now if i think about it, it's like eh i mean if it's there, yeah, I'll try it, but, like, I, I'm not trying to put, like, I'm not throwing all everything to it. VR needs to be embraced by the, the sports. I think once it gets into more sports territory, WWE, yeah. Uh, yeah, football. I feel like if they incorporate it more, like, conferences and events, things like that, maybe it's, it, it'll once be... Once stuff like that starts happening, then we yeah. are talking, when we're cooking with gas, then we, then we really got something going. Yeah. Gaming is, although a very fun way of experiencing VR, and I think one day we will probably be in a space where, like, VR is much bigger than it is right now. Mm. I... I I think I, what I get way more interested, interested in is being able to pay 60 bucks, 100 bucks, and be able to sit at a Falcons game. Maybe sit at the 50 yard line and be able to watch a game, like in my living room, looking around this 360 camera. That sounds way more appealing than a video game, honestly. A concert would be really cool. My wife loves concerts, so being able to show her a VR concert, maybe with headphones or something. I, I'm on roller coasters, theme parks, so like if you can't go to a theme park. Yeah, 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 stuff like that too. I, I, I'm, I'm more interested in WWE. That'd be a fun thing too. Watch some mm -hmm. WWE like with a giant VR headset, just looking at a bunch of people wrestle. Like that sounds fun too. Like, there's mm -hmm. a bunch of aspects. I think sports is way more fun than playing a VR game. I would love to go chill yeah. and and watch like some Falcons play. Um, we completely sidetracked there. Uh, we go back to. I'll just you know I'll just restart. Um. He goes on with, I think we think immersion, we think mixed reality, virtual reality, metaverse, which seems to be the buzzword of the day now. Oh my god. We're big believers in that software platform and the devices that will enable that, absolutely, but we're focused a lot more on the software side of that right now. When I think about immersive worlds and I think about the connection of a player and community, that's something that's very high in our investment list. So a very corporate answer, he said, you know, we like VR, but we're not interested in that. We want to make video games. Yeah, and and I think Microsoft has the Hololens thing. They're already yeah. dabbling in like an AR. Oh yeah, I mean they have had Hololens, but that thing yeah. is like fucking. Crazy. No one's yeah. They they have not made a consumer thing yet. 
I think they're. Yeah. I think they probably have a lot of stuff cooking in the back that they're going to one day show us. But right now, it looks like Phil. What he's going to focus on is games, and I'm sure mm-hmm. some engineer at, at Microsoft is like making some crazy hollow lens AR thing. I mean, I still remember that. That I still remember that conference. They showed hollow lens with Minecraft. With and Minecraft it just yep. comes up. It comes I mean, up from that... the square, and he starts doing stuff. And I'm like, that's not. That looks kind of lame <laughs> like i remember thinking that like inexpensive it, yeah it was like two grand i think for that thing or something like that but it was I like never know. a consumer thing you know like no one yeah. was ever meant to actually buy that we already talked about the events so we're gonna skip that now let's talk some game pass we often talk glowingly about the xbox game pass so let's try and balance some stuff out talk about some negativity and we want to get negative here no nah, uh, i talking very um seriously microsoft seems to have missed an internal glow goal they have set for subscription numbers now from the year to date ending june 30 of subscribers to xbox game pass have grown 37 percent. now that might seem very good right 37 cents a lot but they did miss their internal goal of about 48 percent um this was also a internal goal for performance for some of their top executives uh I, apparently if they met the goal they would get some sort of financial uh gain Oh, but Alex, um, that's really it. There wasn't too much to that story, but I just wanted to really quick uh, point out, do you think Game Pass has hit that kind of stride to where, like, yeah, 37 cents is nothing to sniff at. But do you think uh, we're in that point of stagnant, or are they going to try and keep things rolling? I feel like they're going to keep trying, but if they see it decline more than what it is, they're going to have to find something to... Even though there's already, there's already so much on it, I feel like they're going to have to find another step to entice people to come if those numbers don't get higher for what they were. So um, I didn't include it in this because it wasn't a relevant story. And it wasn't really mm-hmm. a story. It was really just a blog post. But Xbox recently mentioned that they're doing three back-to-back launches on Game Pass. So they brought mm-hmm. up Forza. They brought up um, Minecraft doing... PC Game Pass or something like that. Sorry, Achievers, I don't remember. I didn't see it as like a relevant news story, but I do think it's good to bring up. And Halo. So Forza Halo and that Minecraft thing. Mm-hmm. And they were basically celebrating like a launch, like, look, like Game Pass is getting these things in the span of only three months. I think we're very close to a point because Xbox now has 23 studios. We're getting close to a point where those studios are ready to start launching stuff. And that means every single game from those 23 studios are on Game Pass. Mm-hmm. So they're about to have a blog post like that every couple months. Hey, yep. Xbox is releasing these three games. Yeah, I think it's, it's just all free on Game Pass. Out yet? And yeah. then that's why it's not enticed. We've been Once saying that for Halo, a long time. Forza comes out, and then all these studios, like you said, start coming out with these games. Hey, Game Pass. It's on Game Pass. It's on Game Pass. Each month you're gonna have a game. Yep. Eventually, people are uh, who really enjoy Xbox. Are just gonna have game pass as a no, yeah it's gonna be as like it's gonna be like would... gold where it's assumed mm-hmm. you have it yeah you assume you yeah have you already, assume yeah. you don't go to anyone right now and go like do you have gold you assume you the, they have gold you assume like, they have gold, like yeah. why wouldn't you well yeah for so sure. it's gonna be game pass is getting close to like you don't have game pass it's weird yeah also, to end things all game, uh, sorry, uh, uh, to end things with Xbox, let's do some quick updates that we're getting. Uh, which actually should be live as of you're listening to this right now. We have a couple things coming. So let's start off with the 4K dashboard. Now, uh, Achievers, you may remember this. We covered this a couple weeks ago that when it came to the Skip Ahead program, but the 4K dashboard is now live. So all your, uh, if your Series X is connected to a 4K display, your dashboard will now be in 4K. Up next, we have the Xbox Night Mode. This is to customize the amount of light you want coming from your system in a multitude of ways. You can either dim and customize the light of both the controller and the system light. You can also add a blue filter to the screen to minimize the light for strain. You can customize the light from the display that your Series X is connected to. You can also make a complete dark setting. So that means it completely turns off your Xbox's system light for if you want to enjoy a movie or something in complete darkness. All these settings can be either customized with either, of course, an on and off, sunset or sunrise schedule, or you can make it a custom schedule in your settings. There's also a feature called quick settings being added. This is apparently to fast track the achievers who may have some sort of disability or a specific liking to a specific accessibility setting. That's going to automatically turn those settings on on 
games that you're going to be playing. This is kind of connected, Alex, so I'm going to also include the alpha testing in the skip ahead. So a couple things being added to alpha skip ahead. That is going to be probably live in the next month or two months. The color blight setting for the system is going to be coming in a future update. Of course, it's being tested in skip ahead. This is a color blind option for the entire system. We now have a streamlined audio setting coming, which is uh, didn't touch too much on. But one of the examples given was there's a there would be a setting for mute speaker audio when headset attached setting and a couple other universal audio things. Alex. Um, question. Yes, please. Would, since Windows 11 just recently released, yep. would you want or do you think it's time for a new dashboard update? That's a great question. And I did not expect you to ask that question. So I am, to be honest, a little taken aback. And if you I do would want say, one, would you want it close to Windows 11 style or do you want it just to revamp and start fresh like what they did with the original 360 dash to yeah, the next one? It was so one. different. It was way different, yeah. 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 I will say this. I've only seen Windows 11 once, and that was at your mm -hmm. house when I came over. Mm -hmm. I did not hate, from first glance, I didn't hate it. It looked nice. Um, it looked, honestly, a lot like Mac. I assume mm -hmm. that was the intention. Um, do I want the dashboard on Xbox to change? I am quite a fan, and I've gotten quite used to the dashboard we have now. So okay. unless they are really, really excited or have some very smart engineers on a new dashboard i don't know it'd have to be pretty good because i really do yeah. like this dashboard now would Alex, you want correct me if i'm go ahead oh sorry i was gonna say would you want something like we have to where every, there's just one page and then you click on what you want or would you want something like playstation where you can i was you, just you about to ask you it. that question in a slightly different way off the top of my head, Alex, this might be my preferred dashboard. Okay. The only thing that rivals it is the 360 dash that we know and love. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, not the slides, not the original OG 360, but the one after that. The, um, I don't know. Is it about the squares that, sc that scroll? Yes. That yeah. was awesome. Loved, mm -hmm. loved that one. Now... I miss the avatars because everybody had their own backgrounds and stuff like yeah, that. Those were actually I do miss cool. the avatars. The avatars were fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do I prefer PlayStation or would I prefer an Xbox? I don't know. I Honestly, in my opinion, there's two different aspects to the dashboard mm. on Xbox and the dashboard on PlayStation. When I look at the Xbox dashboard, it is a media dashboard. Games mm. is a thing that is primary but there is also complementary things on there. You mm -hmm. can see games, apps right underneath it. PlayStation, yep. to me, primary is games. Games, yeah. And like fifth on the list is Netflix, things, mm -hmm. things of that nature. Because it's like almost segmented like all the, all the way at the end. You have mm -hmm. to go to like this other different thing. Sometimes it's on your dash, sometimes it's not. I don't even know. I'm not a regular playstation person so mm -hmm. i'm sure there's a way you can make it more streamlined than that mm -hmm. but to me i think i would prefer xboxes because i use well i did use xbox as a media machine although i don't now because i have apps on my tv so it won't be as big of a deal now but um the wi-fi on my old tv the one right behind me actually went out so i was actually using the xbox as a literal machine to play everything like to do anything mm -hmm. you know netflix amazon all of that stuff mm. uh, so I, I don't know i really didn't answer your question but i think i would prefer xboxes but i've, I've spent so much time sure. so i'm so skewed so i would give you what i feel like would be better please i like what we have now i do as well but sometimes i guess i, I maybe i just don't pin enough but I wish I kind of like PlayStation's thing where like, you know, there's a tab if there's it's all the way to the left, but it's the PlayStation store. It's already open and it's already there. Yeah. I wish Xbox would have one. Like, so let's say you have the dash. Mm -hmm. You would hit, let's hit the right bumper, the store right there. Just like it's literally you just tab over to the mm -hmm. end. The store is already yeah. up. Like I don't love was. that they're apps. 
Yeah, I don't love even that though, they're apps. Even though PlayStation, I wish it was already incorporated. Even though PlayStation is kind of an app, it's not really like it's. Yeah, but it's already it's, it's already open. Like you just slide over it, and yeah. it's already you just scroll down. I I I like that. I do like that too. I I like the ease of use. I don't love that everything's an app on PlayStation. Or Jesus, I don't love that everything's an app on Xbox. I do mm-hmm. wish everything was kind of more like ingrained. In and I things. know, like, if you can, if you pin it, you can scroll down, and there's like little, there's like, let's say Game Pass, I have it pinned, and it'll show you the couple things, but then you have to click it, and then it brings up the the store, yeah. and then it does all that stuff. I I wish the store was already in one of the tabs, mm-hmm. to where you could just do it and do it through there. Yeah, I I think I agree with that. I think yeah. Like now I do use pins, tabs, although better because I think they had it before. But if they would just incorporate it better, I feel like it would be really good. Yeah. Also, very quick. Nothing to do with what we're talking about, but PlayStation has snap features. I sent you this, Alex, because someone was detailing how they watch podcasts on their PlayStation 5. <sighs> this Listen. is, this, by the way, this is part of the topic because we were talking about Xbox system we are. updates. We are. This is part of it. Why does an Xbox have this? Don't we have snap? We had, we had Xbox snap. They literally could have fixed that easily. They grabbed it and they stole it and they haven't given it back. They have a picture in picture mode on PlayStation 5. The gentleman described to me in detail how he does it. He went to, I think, YouTube, I think, maybe a web browser. Don't know. Doesn't matter. And then he did a picture in picture mode. And then he has it in the corner and he goes and plays a video game. Why can't I do that on Xbox? There's a lot of stuff I don't know why you can't do that. Why can't I screen share? That is a great idea to do. Why can I not watch Alex play a video game? That's just a fun thing to do. Hey, man, I'm stuck on this thing. Uh, oh, let me go watch your screen real quick. It's right there. Blah, blah, blah. Put yeah. it go right really? back to my game. The amount of times we were doing that on Bloodborne and Demon's Souls, I'd be watching you yes. while I was playing, and it was so fun. That was fun. That was fun. It was like we're playing together. Mm. Why? Why don't we have that? Two things that PlayStation is killing it with right now mm. that we do not have. Yep. And we've not even mentioned they haven't even mentioned those two things in a very long time. I will never forget that interview that guy gave when he announced Snap was going away. We are going to try and bring picture and picture back. That was seven years ago, I think. I think that was seven, maybe six years ago. So, like, please. They're too, they're too bring worried those about two Halo's things. ray tracing. <laughs> I don't think that's the same. Um, yeah, we completely non sequitur. I thought we were going to talk about night mode. <laughs> But yeah, we. I loved that. That was a fun conversation. But uh, it's a joke. Joke. Um, it's not really a joke. But the aside, aside. Night mode does seem nice. I am excited to try that out when we watch a movie next time. To Comments aside. Here we go. Comments aside. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, achievers, are we crazy? You want picture in picture, right? It's not just us. Please it, uh, comment look, below. Look, you see, you look. I'm the wrong way. You see that name down there? You see I the do. one that says Rise of the Sea? Yep. Crazy? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's in my name, so I have to be. You have to be. Date updates for you. Among Date Us update. coming to Xbox, Game Pass, and PS4, PS5 on December 14th. Time. Like, yeah, I know. This was announced last year Game Awards or Summer Game Fest. I don't know, but it was announced a long time ago. Um, Coming soon to Xbox Game Pass... We're gonna do that. I just feel like is Among Us still a thing? Is if is it relevant anymore? It's, not, still? it's relevant. It's not what it used to be. It's okay. um, but, but you can only last so long. I know. I just like I, I I played it a little bit on PC. Played maybe one one match, and I was like, eh. So I'm probably not gonna play it on the Xbox. <laughs> well, you'll play once with me. Come on, you're gonna okay, play fine. once with me. We're gonna fine. get a couple people together and play, but then fine. you can fuck off. Okay. We're going to save Game Pass uh, as the last thing because these yeah. are much quicker. Um, they did announce uh, God of War 2018 is coming to PC January 14th, 2022. Uh, we are getting unlocked frame rates, higher resolution shadows, improved reflections, better ambient occlusion, ultra widescreen, and it does support DLSS on NVIDIA GPUs. People Ooh. were upset about this. Relax. They were. Oh my God. If you're. Relax. If no one, none of the achievers, because. Our achievers are cool. Mm-hmm. Care at all about this? I know you don't. Like, but there good are for some them. crazy. PC for like... There's some crazy fuckers out there. I saw one of them on Twitter. Side the point. 
why do you if you really do care about this bro you don't have enough going on <laughs> and so I, I don't mean to be a dick here you need to like figure out your life you don't why got you enough mean, going on why are, you, why are you mad about a game that's that five years old coming to pc it's almost five years old. did you not i mean did you not play it already i mean I'm just such saying. a good game Oh my god! Yeah, I can't wait. Game. I can't wait to see the beautiful screenshots on PC. Oh, for sure! Because you like, know like, someone's that, gonna have exciting, a you know, yeah. Someone's gonna have like a fifty eighty GeoForce, whatever the fuck, playing this thing. <laughs> it's gonna look awesome. It was there was a I saw a tweet and it said I can't wait for God of War to be <laughs> I on PC. This. I you this. Because it's a mod and all you <laughs> see is Nathan Drake running with Ratchet. As oh, it's is? a different one. That's a yeah, different, it's a different one. one. So I sent you one, Alex. I don't know if you remember. I if if I have time, I'll bring it up. <laughs> No, you know what? I'm gonna save it, Alex. Um, yeah. Are you excited for uh, PC? We don't really play PC I mean, games. It's, so. I mean, yeah, because you never know. I mean, like, what if it's uh, like you never know you you if you ever have the chance to play it. And like, I mean, it's it's cool that they're doing this now because PlayStation was so like you know not on PC, not on everything else. It's only PlayStation, PlayStation, PlayStation. Now they're expanding to where like now they'll have they're giving people the option i mean i i enjoy that oh i texted it to you so it's not on my oh. twitter it's okay but uh I, the joke was um uh the pc community in about a month and it was it was yoda as god as kratos yep. with the yep. symbol on his eye and baby yoda which is grogu mm -hmm. as uh atreus it was hilarious looking because yoda had the axe and a beard yes achievers look at see. youtube if you're on youtube look right now it's hilarious Alex has it right there you, you yeah. almost have it yeah yeah see, it's, it's it's hilarious it's amazing there you go achievers enjoy yeah <laughs> it's, fun. It's, fun. it's so funny Modern a few minutes later, yep. Yep. Uh, all right. Current gen version of uh Cyberpunk 2077, of course, this Xbox Series SX and PS5 versions have been delayed to Q1 2022. And the current gen version of The Witcher 3 delayed, of course, to Q2 2022. I'm not surprised. How many times is this thing gonna get delayed? Dude, how at many? This point, did, how did, many times? Dude, you never played the game, and I feel like you never will. And when this comes out, I will play it. Will it ever come out? We're gonna decide. Honestly, I thought I was thinking about it. I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna play it again because uh, for achievements." But I, then I thought to myself, "Is it too soon? By the time this shit comes out, probably not, and I'll no, be fine again." You'll probably be fine, and we might be in a glut right at, at that point. Um, and this is a, a sad one, achievers for all of our Dark Souls fans out there. Yeah, sorry, drop my ring. Um, Elden Ring will be released. So you drop the ring. What you did there. See what you did there. <laughs> Elden Ring will be released February twenty fifth, twenty twenty two. Let it let it let it give it time. Let it let, let it, it bake wait. in the oven. Let it bake in the oven. Mm -hmm. Um, and they also announced a closed network test November. In November, there's going to be a closed yep. network test. So those are very yeah. quick ones. I have literally nothing to say about the Elden Ring thing. I literally, I'm not not mad about it. Not happy about it. I mean, literally. I have so much to play, dude. <laughs> Literally, I can. I. I don't. I'm not rushed. Let it come when it comes. Let it. Let it come. C O M E. C O M E. Correct. I was about <laughs> to correct you, and I. I, I <laughs> yeah, got this, yeah, you uh, were. Yeah. Uh, coming soon to Xbox Game Pass. Of course, this is uh, via the Xbox Wire. Available as of recording into the pit, cloud console PC. This is the ID at Xbox title available day one with Game Pass. Fast paced, retro FPS roguelite. As a member of the family of lore hunting mystics, you are summoned to a cursed village drawn by rumors of a demonic portal. Dark magics have overwhelmed the village, and it's up to you to rescue the survivors, grow your powers, and journey forth into the pit. Outriders for PC. Xbox Game Pass for PC Outriders is coming. This is, of course, by People Can Fly, veterans of the shooter genre. Outriders presents a journey of survival across a savage planet, which can be tackled in both single-player and one-to-three player co-op. And this is also live as a recording. Dragon Ball Fighters Cloud Console, October 21st. Achievers, try this one out. This is a very good fighting game. Very good fighting game. If you enjoy this game... Evo is going to be your best friend because I love watching a bunch of really talented fighters fight in this game. It's so cool. It's literally an anime fight. It's awesome. Uh, unleash ultimate power from within. This is how it's written. Unleash ultimate power from within in Dragon Ball Fighters. 
<laughs> Experience epic fights, destructible stages, and famous events ripped from the Dragon Ball anime. Create your team from a huge cast of your favorite characters and battle it out in epic 3v3 fights. This is the fighting extravaganza board from what makes the series so loved it looks and famous. Weird, doesn't it? I've, I've, I don't think I've ever seen that written out. I literally, when I glanced at it, I thought I said extra lasagna. I was so confused. <laughs> I, I, like, I literally said extra vaganza. <laughs> <laughs> I see it. I see it. Extra vaganaza is what I said in my head. Away. What is that? Extra vaganza. (laughs) Yeah, I see it. (laughs) Extra. Sorry. Echo. Echo generation. Cloud console PC. I need an Xbox October 21st. Available day one with Xbox Game Pass. Spooky mysteries of. Abound as you lead your ragtag gang to take on monsters and mechs to save your hometown. Unlock unique skills for your party through comic books and prepare for active turn based battles and boss fights that will keep you on your toes. By the developers of Riverbond, dive into another stunning voxel adventure and face off with the extraterrestrials to find the true meaning of home and echo generation. Everspace 2 game preview on PC, ID at Xbox October 21st. Ooh. So, as of recording, Everspace 2 is a fast-paced single-player spaceship shooter featuring meaningful exploration in space and on planets, tons of loot, RPG elements, mining, crafting, follow its predecessor's events, and experience the continuation of a thoughtful sci-fi story set in a vivid, handcrafted open horn full of secrets, puzzles, and perils. October 28th, Age of Empires for 4 comes to PC. This is at day one on Game Pass. One of the most beloved real-time strategy games returns to glory with Age of Empires 4, putting you in the center of epic history battles that shaped the world. Featuring both familiar and inventive, sorry, innovative new ways to expand your empire in vast landscapes with stunning 4K visual fidelity, Age of Empires 4 brings an evolved real-time strategy game to a new generation. Have you ever tried these games? Because you're really into Civ. I haven't. I've, I I think it's because I'm so into Civ. I've never tried anything else. Although, if my computer can run this, I will definitely be trying this October 28th, Alex. Very mm-hmm. interested in this. Alan Wake, American Nightmare cloud, uh, console and PC. Very surprised to see this. Uh, October 28th. Standalone experience. Alan Wake fights the Herald of Darkness, the evil Mr. Scratch. I don't even remember him. A thrilling storyline, hordes of creepy enemies, serious firepower, and beautiful Arizona locations. Combined with a fun and challenging new game mode, make this a must for Alan Wake veterans. And a perfect jumping off point for new players. All I remember is I was just fighting a bunch of things in a drive in a in a drive uh, drive in. That's it. The only thing I remember is you have to replay the thing over and over again. Yeah. But not literally. It's not like a roguelite. You're replaying a time loop. Time loop, yeah. Backbone, and it's cool because uh, people eventually start remembering. Like, why do I remember? And you, like, they start knowing you, and you like skip levels because they. It's cool. Backbone, cons- it. <laughs> it got a bunch of garbage when it came out. I remember, like, people like being like, "It's so repetitive." Yeah. I liked it. Backbone comes to console ID at Xbox October twenty eighth. Raccoon detective Howard Lotor is not a hero. He could barely make rent, and yet oh, he has stumbled across something so massive that it will shake the very fabric of society. Stunning visuals, an evocative soundtrack, and a daring narrative bring a dystopian Vancouver, BC, inhabited by animals to life in this highly anticipated post-noir adventure. Get to it, detective. <laughs> Bassmaster Fishing 2022 Cloud Console really PC. October. What? Nothing. No, you say you want to read this? No, I said, are you really about to read this one? I am about to read this. All right. ID at Xbox, October 28th, available on day one with the Game Pass. Experience the thrill of competitive bass fishing in Bass Master Fishing 2022. Compete as 10 elite series anglers such as cover star Scott Martin, back-to-back Bass Master Classic Champion Hank Cherry, or create your own angler to achieve angling immortality. By winning the coveted Bassmaster Classic. You sound, you sound like the dude off of Maneater. <laughs> yeah, I do, I do can. No Guns Doppelganger Edition. Cloud Console and PC October 28th. A nihilistic action platformer roguelike. Excur- uh, obscure. What does that even mean? A nihilistic what? action platformer <laughs> roguelike. <laughs> it's very interesting that nihilistic is used as an adjective in this. So, like, it's good that it... Th- it, it must be rough like it, like it must be very like drab like sad and stuff obscure obscure in both obscure yeah 
in both yes. gameplay and theme. Oh, weird. Um, no Guns is a riddle that demands sacrifice. Each run sees you parting from a black and white graveyard into an ever-changing gothic dungeon, full of nightmares fleshed out of human vis- viscera. Viscera. Viscera, thank you. Surviving not only requires skill, but style. The Forgotten City, which I heard is a very good game. I will be trying this when it comes mm-hmm. out. Alex, I want you to try it as well if you can. Yeah, I want to have yeah, the time. about this one. Oh, let's go over 28th, Cloud Console PC. Travel 2,000 years into the past and relive the final days of the cursed Roman city, where if one person sins, everyone Whoa. dies. Only by questioning an intertwined community of colorful characters, covertly exploiting the time loop and making difficult moral choices, can you hope to solve this epic mystery? That one sounds cool. Sounds very cool. It's very, what Didn't we... Blessing play this and he said it was really good? I couldn't remember if he said he played this or said he was going to play this. I don't remember. I think he, I think he said he did play this because mm. he said he was playing it or something like that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, don't need that. Don't need that. I do want to find. There we go. Leaving. So this is everything leaving October 31st for the uninitiated. This means it is leaving Game Pass if you want to keep it, either finish it before it leaves or snag that 20% discount before it leaves. Just as a PSA, Carto, Celeste. Comanche, East Shade, Five Nights at Freddy, Knights and Bikes, Unruly Heroes. That is all gone October 31st. Achievers, Alex, that's the news for the week. Mm -hmm. Now, we'd love to end the show just like we began it with one singular question, although I would love to remind everyone, patreon.com slash achievers, remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, five-star review on any podcast ever, of your choice. Let's get right to it. Alex, one singular question every single week we like to end is, what do you have queued for the week? This would be, of course, a comic book, a book, a movie, a TV show, or just a video game. This is, of course, a question to these achievers listening at home. What do you have queued up? Let us know. But Alex, what Hmm. are we doing this weekend? Hmm. (sighs) Trying to get... Depending how much I can play Tales this weekend... Okay. I want to beat it by this weekend, the end Ooh, of this weekend. I don't know a, though. That's a. But I have to commitment. play. A, I have to play a good bit, and I don't know. And that means no Apex. I see, and I know, and there's a new season coming. There's a new season coming, so either you either you go two full days without Apex and maybe beat it, which you won't, because this no, is no. a big game. I think it's like I could sixty my, hours. Three, I could because I, I could do three hours during the day, and then some a little bit at night. And I had to do that. I could do that both Saturday and Sunday, so that I can I can get about I can I can get about twelve hours between those two days. Yeah, you definitely and can. I, and I'm around twenty hours. So it's I not was an like, impossible deed to to yeah. finish it in the next week, next maybe. weekend. Don't, maybe don't think you'll finish it. Don't think, maybe don't think so. But maybe Depends on what. we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. I still need to finish it myself. I have been yeah. knee deep. Uh, Alex, I don't remember. Did I say I finished Metroid last week? When did I finish yes. Metroid? Yes, you finished Metroid last week. But d- did I say it on the show? No, anyway, you did not. I did not. I didn't think no, so. No, no, you you. Told me, no. You told me we were Thanks talking you. about it. Yeah, yeah. You were like, so, that bo- I keep hearing about this boss. Please last boss. get to that. Oh, it's so fun. It is so challenging, but in the best way. I haven't way, even gone back. I'm only three hours in. I'm still in the third area. I'm so sad. So good. I finished Metroid I'm- Dread. Fantastic game. Um, everyone bitches that it's short. It's eight to nine hours. Depends on your. Honestly, it depends on your skill level. It's your skill. I like literally. I'm stuck on the f- second boss because yeah. it's 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 difficult. Yeah, it, it it depends on the skill level. So it it, it I would happily. There's even been a rediscussion of six. Is sixty dollars too much? For, I'm so annoyed of this. Yes, it's a great game. I'm yeah. not even a Metroid game player. The first one, yes, recommended. Yeah. Well, my thing is like. We can't attribute value for everyone. My sixty dollar game is not going to be the same for an achiever watching the show. The only thing I could do is give you my insights, what I like, what I think about the game, and then give a recommendation from there. I hate when people try to. This thing is is this game sixty dollars? Like oh, I don't know. Do you want to play it? Then probably. I mean, think, I mean, think about it. Like. A couple years ago, Fortnite saved the world with 60 bucks, and people loved that they paid 60 bucks for that. Yep. I mean, there's so many things. I, I remember yeah. what. 
really 60 bucks it is depends. just dependent on the person like is 60 bucks you know a good bit to you then you want to be very careful and very yeah. stringent on what you're going to pay that on then maybe you do want to wait for something like a witcher witcher was 60 dollars i spent 100 hours 100 in that video game. over 100 persona hours, 5 easily. royal 60 dollars. i spent 200 hours in that game persona mm-hmm. 5 was also 60 dollars. i spent 200 dollars in an eight deadpool when that game released i spent 60 dollars. i spent 10 hours that game not worth sixty dollars, not to me, anyways. But I spent it. Now I know, you know, my range of what I won. I and I have learned to be smarter with my money from that experience. Manager so, was what forty bucks, I think, at the time. Best forty bucks I've ever best spent. Forty bucks, I like fucking I, I amazing. Would have, I would have, I would have spent seventy dollars. Yeah, I, I definitely yeah. would have. I mean, yeah, I've, I've told people like, value is is what you attribute it to. Yeah, I'd spend a hundred dollars right now to play a Kingdom Hearts game that was brand new. Hundred dollars right now, without mm-hmm. question. I would spend. Yeah. I would probably spend two hundred bucks on a Suikoden game. Yeah, right yeah. now, yeah, easily, yeah. without a fucking second thought. I'd be like, here you go. But that. But luckily, I don't have to do that. <laughs> luckily, that's not going to happen. But I would spend that's just an bucks example. On a good Godzilla game. Oh yeah, I would too. I'd love. I a mean, good, I love. I mean, a even that, even the past Godzilla game that was on PS4 was fine. I mean, I I enjoyed what I played, but I didn't spend sixty bucks, but. Uh, and here's a and here's a thing at the other end. I would not spend sixty bucks on Madden. It's just not something I'm gonna no. play regularly, so no. I'm not gonna buy that. I won't no. play it on NBA. I'm not a sports game guy. I, NASCAR, yeah. f- whatever. Insert yeah, thing. Person. Yeah, it just depends on the person. I know friends that only play Madden. You know, mm-hmm. it's it just stop with this fuck. It's so annoying. It, every yeah. time it's it's brought up, I'm like, no one. You don't know what you're talking about. Like that's just a, you that. I, I don't mean to be mean here, but that's the easiest way to figure out who who it's really knows what they're talking about. Is like when they start talking about this sixty dollar garbage. So so old. Now we just spent mm-hmm. like twenty minutes talking about it. <laughs> Anyways, what I have queued up, Far Cry Six. Can't wait to play more of it. Uh, yes. I do not have these lawfully goals of tales like you do, Alex. So I I can't pretend like I am have any time limit on me beating the game. Although. I do not want to get to the space of like going back to it and being off the rhythm. I'm still yeah. in the rhythm right now. So I do not want to wait so long that I'm like, Oh, what's going on in the story? Oh, what, what's that combo? I liked, you know, I, I yeah. don't want to get to that. So I will try and keep up with it. Although I am very much enjoying, um, the kind of flow of Far Cry right now. Uh, I did, um, like skip and got a bunch of really strong weapons that they let you just go get out of boxes and that's really fun because i could just one tap everyone in the head um that's really the biggest thing i am very excited as of recording in about 20 minutes uh me and my wife watch critical role and they are starting their new campaign so that is what we're doing tonight and throughout the weekend because those are very long we do not finish them in one sitting they're like four hours so uh that's something i'm very excited about too (laughs) i would Mm -hmm. um that is something i'm very excited she couldn't make it i i I could i watched batman v superman in one sitting i did too i think yeah the the, the joe the snyder or sorry this justice league the snyder cut yes i I figure that's what yeah that's that's what i meant um but aside from that yeah nothing on the horizon that i'm super crazy about although alex Mm. Uh, this time next week, Guardians is out. The 26th. Oh, God. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. So we might have impressions on Guardians. We actually might buy that. Um, yeah. We'll, let's see what else is out this week. I think that's it of consequence. Because we'll after that, we, we have, have of course, here. um, Call of Duty, Battlefield, Indeed. Pokemon. Those are the next close releases. That's why I'm kind of trying to get through the games right now. I do really want to finish Tales. Riders Bef- Republic is the 28th, but we don't care about Riders Republic. About Riders Republic. Achievers, do you care? Le- leave a comment below. I'm really curious if anyone cares about that Mario game. Party Superstars is the 29th. Don't really care. Or 30th, yeah. World War Z Aftermath, you excited for that? Nope. That's on- no, that's for the Switch version. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, the game's already yeah. out, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Call of Duty Vanguard is November 5th. Yep. Or 6th. It's one of the two. Yep. I can't remember. It's 5th. See, this is when it starts hitting this week. The, yep. That first week of November is Call that of Duty Vanguard. Week. Yep. Forza Horizon 5. Yep. Jurassic World Evolution 2, at least for me. I'll play it with you. Like, like all that. Uh, 
Oh, don't forget for the old, for the other people, Grand Theft Auto Five expanded. Like I forgot that was releasing. Uh, that we that after That's week the after that is that Series X and Knight, PS5 version. Yeah, Knights of the Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, the Skyrim anniversary. Are you interested in Shin Megami Tensei Five? No, right? No, just, not really. No, no, it's too much. It's too much like Persona. Just give me Persona. I've never even played them. I would have to play them to really tell you if I like like the series, but I've never played a single game. Oh, hey, and uh, you know what the funny thing is? What? Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and Battlefield 2042 come on out on the same day. Do you know what I'm buying? Pokemon. Yes. I would 100% play Pokemon over Battlefield. Yes. I am not joking, Achievers. Not joking. From what I, I played, deadly serious. I'm, I'm, I'm not impressed. That I have never been unsold on a game faster than playing that beta. I am not I'm, shitting and, any of you. And I like Battlefield. I love Battlefield. Uh, Bad Company 2 is one of my favorite FPS shows. At one point, I would have said I'd rather have Battlefield. During 3 and 4 time, I would have said I prefer Battlefield Me too. than Call of Duty. I was right there with you when, we'd say, when we would talk about that all the time when we were playing yeah. Battlefield 4. 3 was great too. I was like, this is awesome. Ni- 1943, mm-hmm. I think I like, too. Um, I loved mm-hmm. those games. I was yeah. huge on them, uh, especially with Battlefield 4. And then we got Bad Company 1 and 2. Those were awesome mm-hmm. releases. And then we got Hardline. Ooh. Then we got Battlefield I didn't even, 5. I, I, didn't even oh. mind, I didn't even mind Hardline. Battlefield 1, Battlefield 5 is when they revolted to me. Yeah, one was, well, the war stories was pretty fun. I liked the war stories. The story online, part was fun. Airline, online, or, no, oof, I fucking hated that. Five, yeah. I didn't even touch the game. I don't think I've ever played that game actually. I did because I just turned the FOV all the way up, and it was hilarious how how fast I look. And then um, we were here, twenty forty two, and. I, w- I want to say this again. I have never. I don't think I've ever been unsold on a game faster than that. Than if, playing- they upsell, if they try to upsell me, then don't give me a four or four month old build. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. Like, if that is true, if that really is a true story, and it seems like it was real, because why would they lie? Why? Just don't have yeah. the beta then. Uh, that that was an awful yeah. decision. If that is that, if that if that is that broken, don't show it to us. That if was I have bad. to like reattach all my equipment. Every time I die, you're being nice. There was way worse stuff than that happening. Way no, no, no I'm saying I, that's that's the first thing. Yeah. Then there was the there was the flickering across yep. the sky that would pop up on my in the screen. Yep. Like, oh my god, is wild. Wild yeah. how I'm so I'm almost sad too. I'm almost I'm I'm scared of the other modes of what's gonna happen. Like if this just if it, and we didn't even get a tornado, so we don't. I don't even know what it would feel like. God, I was so sad. Screen. I couldn't play anymore. I was like, I have to stop this. I'm not having fun. I was yeah. wanted the tornado to happen so bad, and it just never happened. Yeah, I just wanted to jump in the tornado and just fly around because you Me can too. just go jump in there, fly around, and then it, it catapults you. Uh, Achievers, thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Easy Achievers Game Podcast. We appreciate you. Let us know your thoughts if you want to DM us to be involved in the show. Patreon.com slash YouTubers is going to be your friend for that. Um, let us know what your thoughts are. We're going to have a Far Cry 6 spoiler cast, of course, when we finish the game. That is when we finish, though. No timeline for that, unfortunately. I know you understand, though. We don't rush anything here. We play at our leisure. Um, that's really we, it. We don't have really we many... We don't really have many plans for content other than that. We're getting very close to a crazy November, so... Mm-hmm. we're taking our time as right as of right now to kind of finish the games we have um when we finish tales expect a boys cast for that of course so watching um, all the horror movies i just well, i just watched the new halloween would, oh yeah 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 i forgot you were doing the the halloween, I'm watching all the halloween I, movies that's good that's good yeah all right well i'm gonna go watch critical Role, and i'm starving because i literally got um, home from work and went and mm-hmm. straight to here you did the exact same thing alex so mm-hmm. I am ready to go eat. Thank you so much again for listening. Remember, eat your veggies. And on top of that, remember. Go, Chief. Go, Chief. <laughs> <laughs>